guys. Hi guys, welcome to Save a Parrot. My name is April. This is a very vocal Victoria Cockatoo. And thank you for watching our channel dedicated to parrot rescue stories and parrot rescue, right? Yeah. I just want to thank everybody who has donated to Sabaya and her bird family and her mom. Uh, this was an African Grey uh, that was dying of cancer a couple weeks ago and I received a text and uh, from her mother and she wants to say stay anonymous but they were in really bad shape and Sabaya was really sick as you can see in the pictures here and she was dying. They needed help. They, uh, due to the pandemic, she had no job. She is suffering herself from an illness like everything that could fall apart has fall apart fallen apart for this family and I reached out to you guys for help and you know the bird community our bird family came through and I can't thank you enough uh, so what we're doing is we're still trying to raise funds for the ongoing uh, vet bills that are gonna keep occurring for a little bit because Sabaya needs not two, but a third surgery. Better? <laughs> the bump is gone. Oh my and God. she's still got some tail feathers. Oh my God. But she can't fly, right? No, she's, Are you sure? she's clipped. Okay. Hi, baby. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, and they said she's eating on her own. How are you, and... sweetie? Hi, sweetie. Are you sure she can't fly? Oh. Look. Oh, oh sweet. sweet she's baby. probably going to need another, another surgery. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what we're gonna fundraise for. Oh Sweet girly, she's talking to you. Uh, oh, I was oh imagining so much worse. Hi, baby. Hi, Sophia. Oh, Hi, sweetheart. Oh my gosh. You see? Everything's gonna be okay. So many people are like fighting for you too. You just hang in there. A lot of people love you. Hi, baby. Look at her. So good. Oh, this, I brought some bowls that she'll be able to eat out of a little bit easier. And those ones. Uh huh. Like, and then some padding. I know you want to step up. I, I'm, I'm afraid she's gonna like get loose. Do you want to like start your car and cool the car down maybe a little bit before you put her in there? Yeah. I just, I it'd be terrible if like I, I have we lost her or something happened. Stay right here, baby. Good, you guys. This is this is what it's all about. This is what everybody's fighting for this little one right here. Oh, look how she's on her bowl. She's You're gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be okay. What did they say? What did they say in there? They've watched the poops. The poops are looking good. Uh-huh. She's eating on her own. Uh-huh. Um, I'm gonna be back in a week. And just, I'm gonna keep her in this hospital bin for a week and make sure she's not being too active. I have to do it again, then they have to do it again. Well, we're at Christine Shop Shop's gonna be doing that raffle. Let's get her in the car. Bring the seat forward a little bit if you can. And that way it won't be rocking back and forth. I've had a lot of experience with this really sort of thing. Sounds like it, huh? Yeah, she's nice and secure. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I might keep her tail, I might keep most of her kids. I don't know. You made it. She's a fighter. So she's gonna go in for another surgery in two weeks and then she's gonna need another surgery and possible uh, radiation. But the good news is she's doing great, you guys. And honestly, if she's doing great, like she has a lot of personality, she wants to keep going. And if anybody knows about keeping going, right? It's Victoria Cockatoo. Like, yes, <laughs> she's a fighter. Like. It just all seemed like everything was hopeless and you know when she was dying on her deathbed and people were telling me you need to put her to sleep this is terrible what did you do you kept fighting didn't you you weren't ready to go no <laughs> so you guys uh, it, even though it looks grim there's still hope but we still need a fundraise Christine Wood owner of Christine's chop shop has started a raffle. She does these raffles and these raffles make money to fundraise mostly for medical bills when we have emergencies like this, right? And awesome companies donate products. Like they just donate these products. As you can see, the different companies that donated products right there uh, for the raffle and it's $5 a ticket. And Christine Wood, like she does in every raffle, has donated a King's Cage carrier worth $450 and $100 to the Christine's Chop Shop. 
and winner takes all. So there's incredible prizes. We even donated a box of our very own Parrot Playhouse uh, toy line. So there's a box that, do you want another one? There we go. And so winner takes everything. Um, so the money that we've raised so far has gone into the family's electric bill. It was about to be shut off. Uh, Sabaya needs air conditioning. Like she can't heal like this. Um, it went into the phone payment. The phone was about to be shut off. It also went into food. It went into medical bills and unexpectedly it went into a king's cage. As you can see here, uh, the cage that she had was not safe for her. I know you bird people out there, everybody that donated would go, yes, it's good. You bought a brand new cage. Um, so Christine did reach out to King's Cage and to ask him a few questions about the cage that was coming. And she told them about the story. And guess what they did? They donated a, a bunch of toys, perches. And so that cage is going to arrive on Thursday, pretty much when you watch this video. And then they did something even more incredible. They messaged me and said they would like to donate a $200 gift certificate to Sabaya. And so th th there they sell all kinds of amazing products. So I just want to thank King's Cages. So you guys, that's what's going on. We just need to keep this fundraiser going. Are we off to see Dr. Jenkins today, Sabaya? Um, Sabaya is going to need ongoing care and she's possibly, she's going to need radiation. We don't know where this is going, but all she's still fighting, right? Like you, that's giving me sass right now. Oh, you're giving me sis. She's still fighting and she doesn't want to go anywhere. And so as long as she's still fighting, we got to hashtag flock power it, right? We got to work together and just keep this bird family going and keep Sabaya going. Right, Victoria? And Victoria wants to go outside now. So, all right, guys, I can't thank you enough. We love you. The queen is done. She's like, I'm um, out of here it's time for a break but um thank you thank you seriously for everything that the burr community has done for this family i can't thank you enough we love you bye